Hello everyone! Today's collage challenge layout is with these ladies that have, they're almost collaged themselves with flowers and parrots and butterflies and purses. <laughs> Just thought they were really pretty. So it's kind of more of a feminine pretty page with pinks and blues, flowers, that sort of thing. So I hope you're all doing well. Today is day, let's see, day seven of this challenge and counting down with day eight. So I know it's confusing. <laughs> so yeah, I start off with uh, this ballet or slipper type image on the right and then trying to get the binding the perforated sections glued back down because I did take out two thirds of the pages. So there's two perforations on most of the pages. I didn't start doing that till I was at least a third way through the book. So I think on the next book, I'm just going to do that right away and then definitely take the advice of working kind of doing the first third and then the last third and then doing the middle so that this binding isn't so bulky or chunky but yeah I'm just chopping up these kind of background images right now and believe it or not most of these are not from Lazare magazine they're from other magazines even the one on the bottom left there is from National Geographic I think the only ones that are Lazare are the two main yep I'm looking at it now, two main focal images, the women with the flowers. So I realize that image is not going to work on the page, but I definitely want to use it as a inspiration piece for a packet. Those, that one that I just said I'm not going to use and this one, I think are from Somerset Studio, which I haven't bought in at least a year that I was like, ooh, they have some good images to use in collaging. It's almost like a collage itself, a collage and a collage. <laughs> kind of like the ladies with the flowers. Just putting down some background pieces. I typically do like one focal point on one side and one focal point on the other. So I was thinking when I started this, I figured, well, I'm just going to do one of the ladies on one side and one on the other, but that's not how it ended up. So it was kind of fun to do something different and not my normal, my normal routine, I guess I would say for collaging. Someone is mowing outside. It's November 10th. What are they mowing? Maybe they're doing their leaves. That could be. They're probably mowing their leaves. <laughs> like the grass isn't growing. Maybe that's not a mower. I don't know. <laughs> I end up cutting up this piece really just to get the flowers out of there to kind of fill in some gaps. Playing around with the layout. <clears throat> Excuse me. I do end up putting washi on this page because the seam wasn't as bulky, so I was able to do that. So I was trying to decide there what to put on that top right, and this worked out perfectly with those shelves. And it's from, you know, where the couch is, it's from that same image. As I was filming this, I was listening to an audiobook it's called The 10,000 Doors of January. I really like it so far. It's our book club book 
for this month. I love this layout. I think I just like the soft colors, the flowers. Just picking out the washi, I end up going with this pink one. I watched the movie last night, Don't Worry Darling. I did not like it. If you've watched it, what did you think? I just, I love Florence Pugh and I feel like she carried the whole movie and she was amazing, but I didn't, I did not like it. That quote right there, I was, right when I found it, I'm like, yep, my life, my style, there's some pink tool from a dress in the background. And it kind of goes along the phrase of, you know, I like to say, you do you boo, like just everybody has their own thing. And whatever brings you joy, as long as it's legal, <laughs> enjoy it. So that's my number to count down the pages till we finish this book. So that's number eight. And then I put on one more quote and it says, find your magic today. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.